looking at some of the purchases that Kellogg Company makes. In 2000, they purchased Keebler, um, which was really a big purchase for the Kellogg Company. In 2008, they purchased Pringles, which was a huge investment for the Kellogg Company. And finally, just this past November, they purchased a very small company in Chicago that was started in the basement of a house out in the western suburbs. But um, if anyone here CrossFits, this product was made primarily for CrossFitters. And throughout the Chicago area, there's a lot of people that exercise and CrossFit. And anyway, the company last year did $112 million in sales. Kellogg purchased it for $600 million. So if you uh, figure what's going to happen in the next couple years with this product, it's really taken off well. Um, they're still going to be made in Chicago down on Ohio Street. Uh, they're going to be run as a separate unit of the Kellogg company. And uh, I really commend Kellogg for reaching out there and thinking. I know John Bryan and the new CEO are doing their best really to grow sales. And I think they really hit a home run with one, this one. I'm going to talk a little bit about BC Vision, Economic Development, and then our schools in Battle Creek. And that'll be pretty much it. I'm being told we'll take questions after there. <clears throat> BC Vision is the community-driven movement for change in our community, focusing on creating a place where we can live, work, and play. The movement's goal for Battle Creek is for a thriving community for everyone where there is equitable opportunity for all neighbors to have the income, education, resources they need to be successful. In 2017, BC Vision Movement developed an equity commitment statement. We, we know and we will not ignore the significant inequities in the Battle community. Because we believe in the infinite possibilities of individuals, we will listen to include and act on the voices of the unheard. Because we believe that education is the greatest equalizer, we will direct resources to where we need, where we know it is the greatest needed. Because we believe that everyone has a right to financial stability, we will break down barriers to employment. We will be bold and act with a sense of urgency to improve people's lives in Battle Creek. Uh, quite a profound statement, if you ask me, and I would like to thank BC Vision and all the people that volunteer on that committee for really developing a statement that I believe is representative of our, our community. I know that we have a lot of work to do there, but still, um, we've got a lot of people that are working very hard and making a difference in our community. BC Vision continues to work on three interconnected pillars of jobs, talent, and culture of vitality. Goals are to increase the number of permanent jobs here in Battle Creek and the number of neighbors with skills and opportunities for employment. Build talent in our community by increasing kindergarten readiness and college and career readiness. The position Battle Creek has a place where people choose to live, work, and play. The community through the BC Vision Action Teams made progress towards these goals in 2017. With conversations, organized meetings, and data analysis and information gathering. The Workforce Development Team worked with many local partners to hold employment fairs in this building and throughout our community, and look for ways to engage employers and educators to work harder together. Local workers were encouraged to take advantage of the KCC Advanced Manufacturing Assembly training course to prepare students to successfully enter and thrive in the manufacturing facility and industry. The College and Career Readiness Team is working with the community's four school districts to provide educational equity for all students. This comes after a recent New York University study pointed out that years of discrimination in the Battery Public Schools has resulted in enrollment decline, budget and program cuts. The Kindergarten Readiness Team is working to launch a local shared service alliance that builds the capacity of child care centers to improve the quality of care and to be fiscally strong. The Small Business Team is developing a resource map for small businesses and entrepreneurs and a public dashboard for community data. This team also established an internship solution program for small businesses in marketing, business, development, and mentoring. 
A large business team has worked with other action teams and community stakeholders to increase, increase awareness and availability of local resources to get high school diploma or equivalent, learn English as a second language, and learn technical skills. The Culture of Vitality team strongly supports the Calvin County Visitor Bureau's new Certified Tourism Ambassador Program, training frontline employees to ensure visitor experiences are positive throughout our community and county, and provided input to help promote active and lively downtown events over the summer, including the popular John Hart kayak on the river. <coughs> Members of our City of Albuquerque government team serve on the involved and with the BC Vision Committee. City Manager Rebecca Flory serves on the Steering Committee and Assistant City Manager Ted Deering co-chairs Culture Vitality. We've got a great group of motivated local leaders guiding this work in our community. Economic Development. We've been part of an immense amount of economic development progress in this city throughout 2017 with the promise of more on the horizon for 2018. We have so much which to be proud and excited. In July 2017, the city launched an economic, economic development effort in partnership with Surreal City Development Corporation. We have staff downtown focusing on work with small business, entrepreneurs, and startups, a great complement to the work of the Battle Creek Unlimited. We are seeing a heightened level of interest in Battle Creek, so much so that our economic development team is having a hard time keeping up with this focused group, not just on our downtown, but also on the corridors throughout the community, especially in Urbandale, Old Lakeview area, and Verona. We see new businesses open along Columbia Avenue and Beckley Road quarters, and despite some challenges, we see some storefronts at Lakeview Square Mall in the new future. Fletcher Construction recently opened their remarkable new headquarters building on South Division Street, visible as you enter downtown Battle Creek on M66 or I-194. This is an area transitioning from heavily industrial, light industrial, and service. The building opened in November after two years of work, and there is an additional space available to potential tenants. Our economic development staff is working closely with Schweitzer to market the space to Perspective users. Retail businesses are struggling nationwide. While some businesses have left Battle Creek, many are arriving, and even more are interested in joining our community. Our economic development staff <coughs> work closely with a number of public and private stakeholders to, tra to attract the mixed use development and add vibrancy to our urban core. We are working diligently combine light manufacturing, <coughs> retail and service businesses, recreation and arts and culture, and housing into a dense urban experience. In 2018, we plan to replicate a program from the City of Muskegon and Frank Peterson that helps to launch startup retailers in our downtown area. It's called the Pop-Up Initiative of about 100 to 150 foot seasonal structures that can accommodate small startups. The idea is to create an affordable alternative for entrepreneurs wanting to test the marketplace with the hope that they will grow and move into a permanent location, either in the downtown or elsewhere in our city. We don't know yet exactly what this will look like, but we are excited to give the idea a try and to improve it for the new retail businesses in our community. Battle Creek Unlimited, which focuses on industrial and manufacturing, as well as larger businesses in the community, also accomplished great things in 2017, and 2018 looks just as bright. With the very young staff and a new headquarters in the work, BCU has worked to develop shovel-ready sites, both on the new Shignite <coughs> Drive property in Fort Custer Industrial Park, and on the WK Kellogg Airport property, Already we have Bowers Aluminum on the CI site, and with a nearly $20 million investment in 94 anticipated jobs. Also in 2017, BCU helped cultivate investments from One Earth for 495,000 and 26 jobs, and Duncan Aviation for 2.9 million and 50 additional jobs. Heritage Tower is a large visible project in our community both in physical size and in impact to our downtown 
in the community as a whole. This project is much further along than a year ago through the cooperation between, between many individuals, organizations, and they help lead the progress. The city, VCU, WP Kellogg Foundation, Battery Community Foundation, CCDC are all working with the developer to ensure this project comes to place. We've seen much action to this West Michigan Avenue Tower this year with environmental work being done and the Wolf Brook being replaced. We've also seen positive attention from the Community Foundation to help the community notice these improvements. An ongoing project you probably noticed the Believe in Battle Creek signs and banners throughout our community. We are excited about BCU's request for proposals on three properties in downtown Battle Creek, great spaces for which they anticipate selecting projects at the end of the March. At the end of March. Another request for proposals is turning events across the country. BCU has launched an RFP with an incentive package of $200,000 to attract a brewery, distillery, hard cider mill, or even a downtown restaurant into downtown Battle Creek. Thank you very much, BCU, for offering this incentive. Looking in 2018 and beyond, BCU is looking at continuing current strategies, pursuing new strategies like energy storage, transportation systems, and economic impact, new messaging, and missile defense. To hear more from BCU, mark your calendars. Our, the CEO will be here to present an update at the City Commission meeting one week from today at 7 p.m. I had a regular Tuesday, January 16th meeting. The annual economic outlook is coming up on February 8th. We are excited about the progress we're seeing in Battle Creek and for what this coming year will bring. We appreciate the hard work of everyone who believes in our Battle Creek community. Finally, <coughs> schools. DC Vision has a strong educational component, and our schools and community are working hard together to ensure our kids have great, safe, places to learn and thrive. Our community and schools are taking great strides to make differences with our youth, youth and correspondingly our community. The city is administrating a new initiative that will provide housing incentives to entice teachers and administrators in the Battery Public School system to invest in the district through home ownership. We hope to improve some of the community's most vulnerable neighborhoods through investment and encouraging those who work in the Battle Creek also to live there. The city received a $1.5 million grant from the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, including $750,000 to offer as down payment assistance and matching dollars for renovation in targeted areas. Based on the demand for incentives, we hope to help up to 40 teachers and administrators move into the district. We want to see investments in our neighborhoods and think it will be a great addition to that, a way to do that. Learn more soon. Battery Public School Superintendent Kevin Carter will present a school district update to the City Commission again <coughs> one week from today during our January 16th regular meeting. A lot of people say that the Battery City Commission probably should be involved in school, but we can get a hand up, and that's what we're planning on doing. We want to say thank you to the Kellogg Foundation for their help. This concludes my remarks. Thank you very much. Please have a good day.